Hey guys, what's up? Today I have an exciting video. This was actually requested on my Instagram, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do that. It's the Natasha Ibrahim, but this is going to be over my favorite party cities, and I just want to go over all the cities I went to where I partied. Obviously, I like to party. If you watched my vlogs, uh, you would know that. So these are my favorite party cities and also what kind of parties you can find in these cities and countries. So I'm gonna go through the US, South America, Europe, and some of the Middle East. So get a drink and get ready. Starting with the US. I love New York, Miami, Austin, LA, and Las Vegas. I think those are the top party cities. Most people know that. And those are the ones that I've gone to and had a good time in. So let's start with New York. New York has different vibes. So there's Manhattan, there's Brooklyn, there's mostly Manhattan and Brooklyn. But I really love Brooklyn. A lot of people have been figuring out Brooklyn's vibe lately and gravitating towards it. And it makes complete sense because Brooklyn is just so cool and laid back. They had their own style and the parties in Brooklyn are crazy. I went to the Brooklyn Mirage last year to see Jamie Jones and Alan Fitzpatrick and a bunch of other people. It was the closing party at the Brooklyn Mirage and I think that was probably one of the best techno shows I've been to. It was so cool and there's House of Yes, there's Output. There's so many cool techno clubs in Brooklyn. I've also partied in, Manha in Manhattan and that's a lot of fun too, but it's more clubs, mainstream music, tables, that kind of vibe, nicer clubs and everything, but I definitely prefer Brooklyn for like a good techno party and then maybe Manhattan to get drinks or to get a table type of thing, but love Brooklyn. Then Miami is probably my second favorite or ties with Brooklyn or ties with New York. I only spent a few days in Miami, I think like four or five days. If you haven't watched my Miami vlog, go watch that. Also, you can watch my New York vlog and you can see Brooklyn Mirage over there. But Miami, I went to Space. So Space is this club that basically never closes. You might have seen it on the Jersey Shore and it is just techno from Friday to Sunday and it's crazy. So. I saw Peggy Goo at Space and someone else who was really good, forgot his name. But such a cool party, such cool people. I met, I made so many friends at Space that night and I actually went and visited one of my friends that I made at Space in San Francisco and then that vlog will be posted in a few weeks because I'm trying to slowly roll out all my vlog content since I can't travel now. But Space is an incredible time, you have to go there. I went to another club called Mandrake, which was also super cool, but there are so many clubs in Miami to go to from reggaeton to techno to salsa and whatever, but I definitely think Miami and Miami pool parties, which I didn't do. So I was supposed to be in Miami in March for my birthday, Miami Music Week and Ultra, and it all got canceled because of coronavirus, which you guys probably know from my other videos. So definitely do Miami and I would say the best times to go to Miami would be Miami Music Week and Art Basel, which is in December. Amazing events, super cool. I haven't been during those times, but I'm planning on it next year because my ultra ticket is postponed to next year. So I'll be in Miami in March if you guys want to meet up. Maybe I'll have a meet and greet. Las Vegas, let's talk about Vegas. So I went to Vegas a couple years ago now. It was it was my 22nd birthday when I went and it was in March again. I went with my best friend and it was incredible. We stayed at the Bellagio on the strip and if you're a girl, girl in Las Vegas, everything basically is just handed to you on a silver platter and it was an incredible time. I saw Diplo at Encore Beach Club, we saw Calvin Harris, we saw all the big DJs, it was so fun. And literally, Las Vegas is just like an adult's playground and you can go anywhere you want, do whatever. Everything is really lavish and extravagant. I don't know how it's gonna be now after COVID because everything shut down and I don't know when Vegas will be open up again to be taking in all those people and close proximity, but Vegas is insane and I think everyone should go there a few times in their life and I definitely do for a trip soon. I wanna talk about LA briefly because I know that it's a big one on people's lists. I liked LA a lot. 
I thought it was really cool. I went to a few of the clubs there. I thought they were cool. I know there's a lot of different scenes in LA. I have a blog post that I wrote on LA. I don't have a vlog, but I can leave the link for that in the description where I talk about the nightlife and where to go and everything. So I went to some clubs in West Hollywood and then the one bar club daytime thing I went to on Sunday Fun Day was Bungalow in Santa Monica and that was so incredibly fun. I met amazing people. We were just having the time of our lives, me and my friends. So definitely do bungalow if you're in LA, but not my top party destination in the US, I have to say. Last but not least for my personal favorite party places in the US is Austin. So Austin is my home, I'm from Austin, and I know this place in and out. I've been partying here for like 10 years. So it's not as fun as it was at the beginning, but I have to say we do have a very diverse range of bars and clubs and scenes and music and everything. Austin is the live capital of music in the world. I have a vlog on 6th Street, which is on my channel. I'll leave the link for it in the description and that kind of explains what bars to go to on 6th Street, but we have 6th Street, Rainy Street, West 6th, Warehouse District, East 6 and then we have a bunch of other places popping up all the time so definitely should check out Austin if you're in the US. Let's move right on to Europe. I know Europe pretty well. I spent about a year and a half living in Spain and I traveled a lot while I was there. Let's start with Spain. So Spain, Spanish people know how to party. They have the best, most crazy parties. You start at six or seven in the evening and you don't stop until nine or 10 or 11 or 12 in the after or the next day in the morning. You can find reggaeton parties, techno parties, salsa, bachata, flamenco, whatever you want. But the majority of the parties I went to were reggaeton and techno. So in Madrid, there are so many clubs in Madrid. I can't even list them all. I do have a list of all the clubs in Madrid from when I studied abroad there. But I feel like they've changed a bit now. One club that is amazing for techno, which is a little bit outside of Madrid, is called Fabric. And you basically party like all weekend. It's like day to night and it doesn't stop and it's really intense techno and it's like 10 stories high and something like that. Another club that for sure will still be there is Capital. That is a classic in Madrid. It is seven or eight stories high and it has reggaeton and other music on every floor like it's different and that's a really big place to go if you're visiting Madrid. Another one is Teatro Barcelo. It used to be Pacha, now it's Teatro Barcelo and it is super fun. That was one of my favorite. Malasaña is the area that I used to live in and it's kind of hipster and everything. They have a lot of cool bars and places to grab a drink and things like that and then there's another area I forgot what it's called, but there's a club called Liberty and I'm forgetting all the names, but there are just so many clubs to go to in Madrid and such a wide variety of music and nightlife and there's you'll always find a party every single day of the week. You won't have a struggle. We literally had parties Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It was kind of a lot, but good time nonetheless. Barcelona. I love Barcelona. I want to live in Barcelona, but Barcelona has amazing parties as well. Just the Spanish lifestyle is a lot more laid back. You can grab a drink and just like have fun all the time, but they do work, but they know how to play too, if you know what I mean. So there's different areas of Barcelona that you can go out in. There's Olympic Olympia? Olymp I'm gonna write it on the screen. And that's where Pacha, Opium, those clubs are. And that's a where a lot of the tourists go. And then there's Sutton, Bling Bling, and another area. And that's more local, but still kind of international people, but also people from Barcelona go there. And then there's more techno clubs like Apollo, Razmataz, and Moog, and all of those other ones. And those are more techno. So there's a lot of different clubs in Barcelona. You can find parties every day of the week as well, just like Madrid. And I'd say that would probably be my top three party cities that I've ever been to. And it's a really good time. Another thing I wanted to add for Spain is that they do have a lot of music festivals in the summer and things like brunch in the park, which is a techno open air 
concert and they have it once a week all summer long I don't think they're having having it this year obviously but it's so much fun and they have after parties and there's just so many parties in Spain so definitely go to Spain to party they have parties all over Spain too like Sevilla Granada the north you'll always find good parties so definitely a place to hit I want to talk about Germany. I've only been to Berlin and Munich from what I remember, but the best techno. Techno was basically born in Berlin and they have the best techno parties and they go all weekend. Like, you know how I said in Miami they go all weekend and whatever? No, like Berlin, it's literally like 24 hours all weekend. And I went to a club called Grish Mula. Oh, so intense getting into these clubs in Berlin are so intense because you stand in this long line for hours and then they literally look at you like and tell you to leave and that's it but we happened to get in thank god and it was such an incredible experience we went to another techno party which was in a bunker a Nazi bunker the next day and it was really hot and sweaty I have to say I have a vlog on Berlin as well, I'll leave it in the description and you can see this a little bit. But super intense, definitely recommend going, trying to go to Bergen. Next time I go to Berlin, I'm definitely going to attempt to make it into Bergen. Bergen is like the most famous club and it's super hard to get into. Usually you have to go one person at a time or two people max. Yeah, you never know if you're going to get in or not, but if you do, apparently it's the best time of your life. So. Do that. I want to talk about Oktoberfest in Munich. I went to Oktoberfest in 2018 and it is pretty crazy. There's a lot going on. You can So you drink at Oktoberfest all day, dress up and everything and it's just wild and then they also have techno parties at night so you can do it all and it's just a lot of fun and a good time and I think everyone should go at least once. London. I have been to London a few times now and I spent New Year's in London a couple years, no, 2018 to 2019, and I was with my friends. We went to a club called Charlie's in Mayfair. Mayfair is a super nice area of London. There's a lot of different parties you can find in London. This area specifically is more like dressing really nice and listening to like club music, you know, not like techno and stuff, but I think London does have a good underground techno scene. I didn't experience it, but they do have good parties, but they also have like a lot of just super fancy, nice dressing up parties to clubs and stuff like that. Bottle service type of clubs. So would recommend London for more of a upscale night out. I want to get into Eastern Europe a little bit. So I went to Greece, Croatia, and Budapest. And I also went to Prague, but I didn't party in Prague. Maybe I went to a couple other places, but these three are the main places I want to talk about with partying. So Greece obviously is famous. Mykonos is a huge party destination. So is Croatia and Budapest is too, but it's a different kind of party. So let's start with let's start with Budapest because it's different. So they have a lot a big hostel culture in Budapest. So they're very big on bar crawls and going to bars and sort of clubs that are more for hostel people. Do you know what I mean? It's like younger crowds who just drinking and partying but not like dressing super nice or or like drinking really expensive drinks it's more just like to party but it's super fun you meet a lot of cool people i stayed in a super cool hostel every hostel in budapest is a party hostel it's like this is the party hostel hostel that's a sister of the party hostel if you don't want to party don't stay at this hostel everything on hostel world is like that so be prepared i said it say that vite which was really fun i met a lot of cool people it was a good time overall so budapest for that good party hostel vibe now let's go into croatia croatia is also sort of like a hostel party type of thing but in the summertime there is yacht week and everyone parties on yachts i wasn't there for yacht week i came like a little bit before but definitely on my list of things that i want to do in my life apparently the parties are insane they listen to good techno the best place to go for partying is havar which i didn't go to it's off the coast of split 
Split also is super fun and has good parties, but apparently Havar is the place to party. And I think from what I've heard, it's similar to like that Ibiza, Mykonos vibe. There's some islands I wanna mention that have like a similar vibe. That's Ibiza, Mykonos. Florianopolis in Brazil has a super big Ibiza vibe and yeah, they just have that kind of techno deep house island, tropical, but like you're there to party type of thing. So Croatia is really good for partying. Go during the season, which is the summer. Greece is another big party destination. Apparently Athens has crazy awesome techno parties, which I didn't get to experience because I was only there for a couple of days and we were just kind of on the road and tired. <laughs> but Mykonos has amazing parties during the season. I was there in at the end of April, so it was a little before the season started, and I couch surfed on a yacht with sailors. The vlog will be up in probably next week from when I post this video, and I'm excited to share that with you because it was really interesting. We did get to party a bit, and there's a place in Mykonos called Little Venice, and they have all these bars that are really nice. Mykonos is a bit expensive, I have to say, but it is a good party destination. They have lots of like beach clubs and stuff that open up in the summer, but I would recommend going in the summer. It is pretty crowded though when you if you do go in the summer, but if you're trying to catch the parties, best to go during the season. Now I'll go into the Middle East a little bit. I haven't gone to a whole lot of places in the Middle East. I've been to Egypt two times and Dubai twice as well. Dubai has pretty crazy parties. They're not allowed to sell alcohol outside of hotels because hotels are the only entities licensed to sell alcohol. So all the clubs and bars are in hotels, but these hotels are huge and usually have like two or three or four clubs, like full-size clubs inside of them, which is pretty crazy. Dubai is very flashy and has a lot going on, but I did have a lot of friends or quite a few friends there that showed me and my friend an amazing time. We went to super cool clubs. They did play a lot of like for top 40 music, club music. It was a lot of like bottle service. And the vibe I got was very similar to London. There are a lot of English expats living in Dubai. So you do get similar music and vibes and just overall feels. I went to some beach clubs in Dubai, which were really fun and like deep house vibes, which I love. And I would recommend going to Dubai in December or like the winter months because the summer is extremely hot and I went to, to Dubai during the summer both times. Also, we spent a lot of time on my friend's boats in Marina Bay, which was really fun. So I would recommend doing that or going to more of the beach clubs unless you like the, and also like the bottle service bars weren't bad either, but Dubai is a good time, but not so much for like crazy partying like Berlin. And then Egypt, I went to Egypt twice. The first time I went to Sharm el Sheikh, which is basically a similar vibe to Ibiza, like a lot of clubs on the Red Sea, beach vibes, deep house vibes. It was so much fun. I went scuba diving. I met, made a lot of friends there. Actually, one of my friends, now he lives in Miami and I've gone to visit him and he comes to visit me and I helped him like come to the US and everything and he's from Cairo. So super cool how you can meet people when you're traveling and just become like lifelong friends. And the second time I went to Egypt, I went to Alexandria and Sahel, which is in the north, the north coast. And I spent Eid in Egypt both times. And Eid is the end of Ramadan and it is so much fun because it's like just partying and celebrating and there were super cool parties. I had a super good group with me and it was just a really good time. So surprisingly, the Middle East has really crazy good parties and the next place I really wanna go to is Lebanon. I have a few friends living there, so I'm planning on doing that soon. I'm also planning on going back to Greece next year because my cousin was supposed to get married in Greece this year, but it's postponed, so I'll be doing more vlogs on all of that as well. And lastly, I wanna talk about South America and Latin America. So I went to Brazil. I think everyone knows that Brazil was an incredible trip and we had so much fun. Rio has incredible parties. I love 
Musica Funky, which is like Brazilian funky music. Rio has crazy parties. I spent New Year's in Rio from 2017 to 2018. Copacabana is crazy. Everyone wears all white and I would definitely recommend spending New Year's in Rio because it's just so much fun and the weather is great and the people are awesome and the parties are amazing. And then Florianopolis, like I said, is like Ibiza vibes. It's an island off the coast of Brazil and they just play a lot of techno, deep house, beach parties, just overall incredible vibes. I actually started vlogging when I was in Brazil, but never got around to editing the videos because I didn't film it properly, but maybe I'll try and put something together for you guys so you can see what an incredible experience I had over there. But I definitely say Brazil is the best place to party in South America, hands down. Colombia is another really good place to party. Medellin is incredible. They have a variety of different music like reggaeton, techno. Obviously, like some of the biggest reggaeton artists are from Medellin, like J. Balvin, Nicky Jam, Maluma. I met Maluma in Medellin at the airport. It was kind of an embarrassing story, but interesting. Cartagena has really good parties, more of a beach vibe, and then Cali for salsa. But Colombia also has really good parties. Lastly, I want to mention Lima and Cusco, Peru. So this trip wasn't for partying, but I did party, I have to say. Cusco, we stayed in a party hostel called the Wild Rover and we also stayed in the same party hostel in Arequipa. It's a chain, there's three, there's one in Cusco, Arequipa and La Paz, Bolivia, I think. This is a party hostel, it's crazy. I was like literally on the bar, standing on the bar, pouring shots into people's mouths like every night. And this trip was more for like nature and hiking and everything, but of course I partied at the same time. I just wanted to put out a disclaimer that this was right after I graduated college and I was just like in party mode, but I'm not this crazy anymore. But they have really good parties there. And then there's an area in Lima, I forgot the name, but I'll write it on the screen, that also has really good parties. It's more laid back and hipster, but super fun. And Latin Americans just know how to do it. Lastly, I forgot to mention Ibiza. I went to Ibiza a year ago, like exactly a year ago, for opening weekend and it is so fun. I want to go every year for the rest of my life. Obviously, I can't go this year, but you have to go to Ushuaia High. Ushuaia is like this hotel with a club inside of it and we were there for the opening party and it was like Peggy Goo, Tale of Us, Paul Clarkrunner, all the big techno people and it was just a magical moment. Then there's Amnesia, there's Circo Loco, there's DC10. These are just the main techno club. There are just so many great parties in Ibiza that you just have to spend a week there every year for the rest of your life to experience it all. But those are basically all of my favorite party cities that I've been to. I know there's quite a few of them and this video was not the most organized but if you have any questions about any of them also let me know what your favorite party city is in the comments down below and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit subscribe for a lot more videos like this and if you have any more requests I can definitely fulfill them so also leave those in the comments thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one